What's up guys, my name is Josh, and today I'm excited to show you the new Roland V1 HD. Now look at this thing, I can palm it. It's really tiny. In my opinion, this is easily the best switcher you can get if you've never used a video switcher before, you're a one-man show, or maybe you're on a small team. Why else do I love it? Three words, plug and play. This thing sets up super quick, and you don't necessarily have to have professional video experience in order to operate it. Let's take a look at it. So on the back of it, we've got four HDMI inputs. So you can switch between four different camera angles if you want. You've got RCA audio inputs and outputs, and this thing is sweet because it's got a 12 channel audio mixer in it too. So you don't just switch between video, but you can also you know, change audio levels and mix audio as well. Uh, you've got a preview and program output right here, and then a USB port here so you can control the switcher with an iPad or a laptop. The other really cool thing you'll see here is the ability to change the video output format. So if you want to record in 1080p, 1080i, or 720p, you can change that all with this knob right here. Okay, so you power the switcher on, does this cool light up effect. Then you'll see you've got a shot that's considered live and a shot that's considered in preview in green. So red means it's live, Green means it's in preview mode. And we plug in an input, video input. You see two here shows that there's an available video input on angle two. We plug in another one in input three. The indicators will also show me, oh, I've got a video input here in case I want to go and put that in my preview mode. And then if I want to take the shot, now that one becomes live. If I want to switch between two and three, the fader bar, or there's a lot of different ways. You can use these buttons on the side here too. And you'll see they switch between the two angles, two and three. You also see you have some effects buttons here, A and B. Um, and these you can actually program on the switcher's menu um, and you can program these so that you hit these and then an effect happens, like a picture-in-picture -picture effect or a split-screen effect. And then you've got a button here, a little knob here for fading, so you can fade to white or you could fade to black at the end of a show. So that's really cool as well. So another really cool thing is not only can you control the Roland, you know, on the hardware itself like I just showed you by pushing all the buttons, but you can also control it with a laptop. Uh, and to the left here I have Roland's uh, RCS software that comes free with the switcher. So all you do, this is pretty simple actually, and you can see we have some inception going on on the right of the screen because the camera I'm using is also plugged into the back of the switcher which is outputting uh, to, to that monitor. But all you gotta do is you just go into the back of the switcher, you plug a USB cable into the back of the switcher there, plug it into your laptop here, and then once you're plugged into your laptop, you see this button right here that says connection V1 HD, click that, and now you've got full control of the switcher from your laptop. So that's pretty sweet too. So you can you know, change angles from here, change your preview, do stuff like that. You can even like control the fader bar. You can take different shots here. Uh, you can go in and you can select like what you wanna program your effects to be. So like I was saying earlier, we've got picture in picture options, uh, chroma keying, color effects, and then split screening. Uh, and then even flipping in case you ever want to do some goofy stuff like that. And then like I mentioned earlier, you've got an audio mixer down here too. So you can adjust your levels down for certain cameras. Um, if you want to adjust your, your audio inputs over here or your mic inputs, you can do that. You can also adjust your master levels. Uh, so for the whole video feed altogether, that's pretty cool. You get audio effects too, which I haven't even gotten into, but you can just have a blast of these. I mean. Um, you can really put on a show with some of these effects. And then you'll see you've got this memory tab over here and, and that was kind of, there's a button on the switcher too, I'm sure you saw earlier to be able to adjust that. But what this does is it simply allows you to do presets of the effects, transitions, and uh, transform controls that you'd like to, to set here. So that's really nice as well. So Typically with video switchers, when they, when they show a preview output, what you'll see is you'll see a preview and a program feed, and then all your other video feeds will be available just below that as well. 
But what Roland does is they actually split it up into a quad display. Um, so all four of your angles are available at all times. And then whatever shot is live is just bordered in red. Whatever shot is in preview is just bordered in green. Um, so that's actually, I think, a little more user friendly. And then if you were to go ahead and switch the shot between one and two, you would see green would become that one, preview would become that, and live would become that. And then of course, if you can't control the switcher from a laptop or anything like that, you can actually go into menu settings uh, by holding down different buttons in this corner over here. And then you can actually go into the menu settings on the preview mode and you've got all these options. You use these transform keys to go up and down and then you can change, you can change values um, by taking the fader bar and moving it up and down. That's actually pretty user friendly. It's not as complicated as it might look and then I'll show you this real quick, which is really cool. If you don't want your preview output to show the quad display here, you can actually show either your program output or your preview output, or what you're, you know, what you're actually outputting to, if you like to do that. The reason that's nice, specifically for things that we use it for, is if you ever have any interest in doing picture-in-picture, -picture, and I've got my picture-in-picture -picture preset on this button, then you could go ahead and your picture in picture would display right there. And then obviously, the cool thing about this, it's kind of like Etch-a-Sketch, um, if any of you remember playing with those, is you can adjust the picture in picture movements from over here using these knobs on this part of the switcher. And then if you wanted to switch between them or get rid of it, you could do that as well. And then if you wanted to reverse your picture in picture, that one would go live and that would be the picture-in-picture -picture mode. So that's just a quick look at the Roland V1 HD. Like I said, it's a super easy to use switcher that comes packed with a ton of professional features. I've only spent a couple days with it and I still haven't gotten through everything, so I can't even imagine all the different options you have with it. Um, but like I said, if you're new to live video switching or if you have a smaller scale setup, this is perfect for you. You know what else is great is they also send you this awesome little travel bag that you can take it along with you too. Thanks, Roland. You know, it's all about the little things. So anyway, if you have any questions about my experience with it, or you want to share with us your experience with it, feel free to leave feedback in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Bye.